let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody. Today we are going to be cutting out a clear Lauren bag. Well, frosted. What'd you just call me? Yeah, frosted. Oh, I'm excited. So I just had the idea to cut, cut this out and I'm just gonna do really simple um, and I'm gonna make the bottom and I think instead of like a zipper closure I'm just gonna make it like a big tote and do a binding on the top edge with this magenta pearl luxe vinyl on my website so that's what we're gonna do assess what we're doing this vinyl um, will be back on my website. It may look a little bit different, but it is a fun one for sure. So that's what I need to cut away. So I'm going to cut two of the main panels, exterior main panels out of the frosted jelly vinyl and then I need to cut the top binding to about 40 inches ho 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 it's gonna be so cool um, 40 inches because of the um, 18 plus 18 is 36, but I want a little overlay just in case, and then I'll trim off the excess. So there's where I get 40 inches. I've also seen people use jelly and frosted vinyl to bind things, so I think that's a super fun idea too. Alright, so there are my two main exterior pieces. The bottom panel, I've been debating, and I was thinking of doing, because I want to interface it. So I was thinking about doing either two layers of vinyl, or I might use frosted over top of it. I think that would look really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my bottom panel. I'm going to interface it and then I'm going to use a chunk of the frosted vinyl to put over top of that, kind of sandwich it together. So I'm going to center this, interface it, and we'll see where we're at. What's also cool about the frosted vinyl is if you wanted to line the bag, you could, and it's just gonna have a different look depending on the materials you choose. So yeah, this doesn't look bad and it feels structured. You could even still add purse feet if you wanted to add another layer of interfacing over top of this, possibly. Ooh. 
Oh, 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 it's so pretty. So now, what do I want to do for straps and handles? All that good stuff. I could use this for straps. That would be really interesting. Um, I could use it for my strap connectors. I think I have an idea. All right. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm definitely going to have to sew this tonight, too. All right. You ready? You ready? Okay. Okay. We're going to cut connectors out of this two inches by four inches. And I'm going to need two of those. Nope four of those. Well, I don't need two by four. Will this be enough? One, two, three, four. I think this will be enough. So they're going to be two by two. So I'm just going to cut one of these into sections. So I'm going to add a chunk of the magenta pearl over top of these connectors. And I think it's going to look fun. So I'm folding the raw edges into the center. And then we'll top stitch that. And then I'm going to cut them to two by two and add my hardware. I could even just use webbing for the handles then if you were going to do something like that. But I think I want to use hardware. I want this to be fancier than you'd think. Ooh. <laughs> and now I'm thinking I could add a cute little slip pocket. <sighs> I have not felt this creative in a while, so I apologize. All right, so I'm just going to cut this little piece here. Let's see. What do we got? So this is six inches by 14 inches, six by 14. I'm going to make this a little slip pocket and put this in the top seam of the bag on the lining. So I'm going to do a six by one inch piece of the magenta pearl. To go over the top edge of that pocket. So centering that over top, we can trim off the excess. I'm going to top stitch that into place. And then when I fold this over, I'm going to sew along the side so that this becomes a closed off pocket that you can put your phone into. Of course, I don't have any clips over here. cute. <clears throat> Soup's cute. All right. So I'm going to cut 18 All right, turn my heat press off. Putting away my pattern pieces.
gotta clean it as you go. Um, all right, handles. So I'll go ahead and do eight by 24 and do four inch wide pieces to make one inch wide handles. So I actually designed this ruler for this kind of mindset where you're just like going and going because it's got markings for one inch wide handles. So I've got my four inch center mark and then I can measure the center here super quick. Um, if you are not a fan of the bold lines, I do have one coming. That is the um, pink to teal ombre with no bold lines. So I'm taping my straps while I'm here. The tape I'm using is Weft and Warp Co. Double sided tape and it is a rippable tape. I like to joke and say it's terrible, but it's not really that funny. <laughs> okay, so now I'm thinking for my overlay piece, do I want it to be a raw edge? Do I want to fold over that edge? I think I'm just going to do raw edge and make them one and a half inches tall. So I'm going to do 18 by 3 and then cut that in half. And I really want to make sure I've got nice, straight, even edges for this part. There we go. I was like, and I don't. adding that tape so we can lay that in place on the bag. And now I want that 40 inch long strip that I'm gonna use to bind the top. So I'm just gonna fold this vinyl in half, line this up to the 20. Hoo -hoo. How about that eyeballing, huh? and make sure it's one inch tall. Okay. So I think that's it. I will review the pieces since that was kind of a mess. I am going to use the three quarter inch wide tape on this top strip. So I've got my top strip that's 40 by one inch. I've got my handles and my handle connector and then my handle overlay pieces. And then I've got this little slip pocket, six inches by 14, six inches by one. My bottom panel pieces um, this is raw on the inside at the bottom, so keep that in mind. If you want to bind it, you can, but it might be tricky. Um, I may use the trick about using um, like a clear TPU or a clear tape to finish it off, but I don't think it'll be that serious. Um, and then I've got my two exterior pieces. That's, that's it. I'm not going to add any zipper closure. It's just going to be a big open tote to stick whatever you want to in. Um, so I hope you'll join me to sew up this clear Lauren tote, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.